Ness out here. Oh my gosh, double Ness. Double, okay, this is gonna be interesting. There's gonna be a lot of jumping and a lot of child screaming. Uh, Psy Magnet is gonna be big. Like, I don't know how else to put it in. They're playing the Sephiroth music right now, so pretty appropriate for what is about to unfold here. Air chains? Nope. Ah, uh, yes. The PK Fires. Don't think we're going to see a lot of effective PK Fires here, given all the side magnets. Yeah, and I mean, it, I, I would love to see if it's like randomly they get a uh, get like a forward smash reversal, but this is, yeah, like there, just healing. That's big. Right like this, though, Ace Money playing super solid right now, but we do see Grim fighting back, and that, yeah, that flash, if that gets absorbed, that's big. And that, oh, that air dodge of Ness is absolutely massive. Yeah, it's, it, there's some characters such as Ness and Puff, they can just go distances. Back throw is not going to kill, going to go for the forward throw for damage. Oh, no grab. Oh, that's not good. And so even though I would say Ace Money's kind of like winning the exchanges for the most part, he's also pretty close to dying. <laughs> Nash Jack is going to take it though. That DI was in. They were trying to do a forward tilt and he's going to get punished. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Fast play around the platform. Adjust the right spacing and keep the fire. So Grim doing a little bit more on the side mag work, uh, but sadly it's not looking out for him too well. Nice back air goes. Some good SDI out of that. Oh right my there. god, the down air come in. It's so rewarding when you get a mess down air. It really is. <laughs> oh my god, chases him all the way over. Back air is not gonna do it. Forward throw again, good damage. And back air is That'll gonna do it there it. though. So it is funny, right. like that interaction that we saw, because of the directional air dodge, Ness just has some good recovery. Um, meanwhile, in like Smash 4, for example, the other Ness could have just went out there with side magnet and killed him. Like, this is like, oh, yeah. it's pretty scary. It took so long for Ness to register that he was grabbing the ledge after using up B. Yep. And that is so good awareness. Uh, excellent. Excellent edge guard there with the yo-yo. Again. yo yo such a powerful team. Again. Even after the nerf. Very good move. <laughs> just, a, just a good move. <laughs> Damn. Went up halfway the freaking platform there. The damage. Oh, yes. We're seeing Ace Money's being very smart with his PK fire usage because he's he's not throwing it out a bunch because he doesn't need to. He's throwing it out low percents where side magnet won't really matter. Well, that's going to hurt. Back throw, Ooh, that's not enough. There. Not enough, though. Back throw does 14, though. It's no joke. And that up air, just He's enough. He's gonna take it. So Grim fighting back right now. 35%. This is completely doable. What I would say was a very strong start from Ace Money is now turning into a little bit of a... He's gonna cross him up there. A little bit of a back and forth. Good grab. Oh, not no grab. Uh-oh. Ooh, just barely getting out of that. I would have died to that uh, PK rocket there. Yeah, for sure. I think that's so hard. I think it kills you at 10. Here, a lot of side stuff. <laughs> Lots oh, of movement. Oh, man. Ooh. The are pretty even. Oh, my God. You know both players are like, so close to dying here. Nice get up attack, you have full life frames. Gotta come in with a nair. Very smart. Alright, a B almost gonna kill there. Backer will probably kill from the left half of the stage. Oh, that up air, gonna hurt. Ooh, was almost getting him with that inwards DI there. Oh, we got F tilt trade in. Tilt. Not gonna get the yo-yo out in time. Very, very close. Both players so close to dying here. Back throw from Grim will probably kill now. Yep, especially with full rage. Oh, that's not a trade. Oh, the back air. Grim, yep. taking game Gonna... one. Very close, though. Very, very close. Excellent comeback there after going down about a stock and a half. Indeed, indeed. All right, let's see. We're going to stick with the nest ditto, or if maybe we'll see a character change. All right.
All right, so we got our first winner semi set is locked in. It's going to be Jazar versus Peru. Um, I think this has happened once before on stream. I, I don't remember. Um, but that will be pretty intense. Peru has taken a quarantine in the past, um, beating OG Mustaine. And Jazar is kind of the, the titan that has come through most of the, most of the weeks. So we'll see what kind of happens here. <laughs> but on this match right now, Grim taking game one. Uh, very good back and forth. Very interested to see what happens game two. Uh, not sure why they exited. Hopefully it's not like their switch died, but we'll find out. good looks like not a big deal we got the rest of bracket right now Bloomy gonna get a dq buy over pk freeze zizzo no is up one against cortex um that might be a pac-man ditto honestly and we got chris and bad boy ray about to duke it out slade is up one against uh cosmic b and we're getting back to saint is up 1-0 against pumpkin yep we're gonna get back into this here switching to the yoshi yoshi on so, yoshi is the home field advantage so it's interesting because grim won and they're deciding yoshi now display is dominance in the ditto and it was very very close so maybe maybe they just thought that this was a little bit too close for comfort might be a home stage advantage type of thing i mean this stage, I, I argue, is very polarizing. I mean, the data came out recently, and it showed that this stage and my lab were both played about the same amount of times, which is not a lot. So, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, I understand it. Yeah, I, I am a personal fan of it. I do not like this stage. Those edges can just randomly shoot you inside. I mean, yes, but they do make two framing a lot, a lot easier. Yeah. So, as it is, though, Grim up 100% to 57. Up air is going to hit, and that is enough. Oh, the inwards DI is going to take it there. So, fun fact about Yoshi's is the blast zones aren't that different. It's just that the platforms are so high up that you just get you just get demolished if you're up there. So, it's deceptively uh, closer to blast zone. Oh, yeah. Double down at Jeez. Needy 30 right there. Yep, Yoshi side D does not beat basically anything. Unfortunately, it does not. I'm uh, I'm not thinking this the switch was the play here. The way face one keeps playing, I mean, yeah, it's definitely prove. Oh my God, he almost thunder tackled him. Ace one just doing a really good job of keeping Grim off of him with all of his disjoints in the air. Oh, I got another downer. How many downers are we gonna see here? Nice grab. That is. Oh, he's so dead. Yeah, that, that is a literally deleted. Now Yoshi does have armor and a very fast uh, neutral air and such, but it doesn't look like Grim's able to get a lot off of that. Okay, flash yeah. into up air, into up B. Oh. That was so close to killing. I'm loving these uh, custom combos here from Ace Money. Dude, I would call them far from a combo. That was the more of just the reads, and that forward air also going to be a nice read here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Grim going in hard. Grim just decided that now is the time. Never mind. Ace Money's like, nope, not your time. Good air dodge there instead of going for an offensive option. I was definitely expecting another neutral air. Well, only getting these first hit pairs. Oh, we're just gonna drift into these eggs. Four pummels, is that enough? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Alright, Ace one to bring it back, one apiece here. 
indeed. See if, uh, see if Grim either wants to go back to the Nestido or has another character up his sleeve, because I don't think Yoshi worked very well right there. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It did not seem like that worked nearly as well as the Ness. But hey, we'll find out here. Game 3 coming up. It looks like MG2 Saint is going to take it at 2 over Pumpkin. It is going up against Senpu. If Senpu checks in, they will be the next one up here on stream. So let's continue here back to the nest ditto on Yoshi's. Two, one, go! So, oh. uh, yeah, I oh, guess that was the wrong no, stage. we're not. I think we meant to go to a different stage, but definitely sticking into this ditto. Yeah, so I was going to say, there's actually a match if you're interested. It was Morris versus... Um, God, it was... Uh, one of the one of the nest players that we had last week and it was it was nuts the they ended up getting like bounces off the walls multiple times like you thought they were actually no it was lucas and you thought they were dead like five times it was just literally what from the bottom corner thunder tackle into the wall bounce off the wall and then grab a ledge it was it, any other player probably would have died there like three or four times it was kind of wild so let's oh, yeah. go and get this stage counterfeit correct, and we'll see kind of where we're headed. Ready? All right, let's see where we're going. Three, two, one, All right, PS2. Go. So a big open stage. Definitely. Definitely, I mean, it's even. They're the same characters, but this, this is going to be intriguing. <laughs> Back throw, not going to kill much during on this game, unless you're at the ledge, really, because you'd be able to DI if you're thrown across the other side of the stage. Like this, oh, yeah. Grim coming out hard here. Whatever confidence they got in game one is definitely showing back right now. Oh, yeah. Grim just... The re-hit rate on those uh, forward airs from Ness, definitely not the best. Oh. Oh my god, he's oh, alive. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Let's take out the up air real quick there. Very only 3.7% here. Definitely a very solid start here from Grim. Yeah, that was only a trade of a uh, forward air on that back air, honestly. Nice neutral air. Ace trying, starting to get their neutral back. And, and that's the thing. We definitely see Ace do uh, do some good stuff when it comes to like winning exchange and optimizing the amount of damage that they get. I'm surprised they didn't run up forward smash. Right? Back off I think that might have been just slow. I think it was a good thing we didn't go for an aggressive down smash on that. Yeah. Oh, oh I tried to go for a back air. I think that might have been missing, but... Might have tried for... Maybe it was an IRAR back air. Yeah. Nice back air right. right there. Gonna knock it out. Now, we saw what happened up there. So, Grim did do a aerial... Excellent there. Good choice. Did do an aerial in the bubble. This isn't Smash 4. If you do an aerial in the bubble, you'll actually die earlier. We're talking, like, a good 5% earlier than if you do nothing. So your best options when you're in the bubble either jump, which may save you about 1 or 2%, or don't do anything. Do not attack. That will get you killed. There are some aerials that definitely uh, perk box shift you. They do, like, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter in this game. It's actually kind of crazy. And that Thunder Tackle... Oh, 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 the rocket. oh he's not dead. He's alive. That was not point blank, luckily. <laughs> Yeah, the hurt box shifting, it doesn't matter. Your collision box is still still to the blast zone. Oh, back air. Good back, back air there. Nice. Oh, very close. And like this, Ace is pulled back into the lead here. Oh, oh gets it. Back air is not going to kill. Going to go for the forward throw for the damage. Double roll makes it around the cross. Honestly, if I if I'm the player here, I want to be in center stage because I don't want to die. I don't want to overextend to the ledge right there. Like that back there sweet spot could have killed. And super dead. There we go. All right, and Ace Money taking back the lead here. Up there coming in, not enough though. Can Ace Money get any extra pressure? Well, that's funny. Great minds think alike. 
Back air, not quite gonna seal the deal yet. Oh my god, I got the spot dodge off. A lot of dancing yeah. around back here, no one's really getting a hit. Gonna be a good trade for Grim right now. That up there is gonna oh, take yeah. it, so. This is 31%. kind of where we were last time. Great. Anything can happen here. Oh, it does not get the chase. Almost got an interesting little string there. Yeah, this is really careful. That heal, that's good. Oh, man. And Grim trying to find a way in here, but Ace is just doing such a good job in extending. Oh, my gosh. That could have been served bad. But now we got a little bit of extension coming out here. 40%. 52. Bring it back. Four throw. Yep. Oh, Send him off stage. Yep. And yep, get him attack is the only option there. Oh my god. <laughs> or just went for a wild F smash there. Actually calls out the thunder from above with his own thunder. Ace, I'd recommend staying in the center on the Pokeball. You don't want to get hit off stage and potentially get your life taken away here. That must have shield break. Definitely. Oh, there is Gary. Max Rage Nass. Nash that coming in. Oh, super close. Ace is going to kill at this point. Forwarder coming in. Forwarder. Oh my god. I gotta punish the re-grab. Oh, and gets the grab oh, off of that. That is gonna do it. Yep. Ace Money clutching that out, but you could tell it was it was a bit of a nail bite there for sure. <laughs> good show there from Ace Money. Definitely taking back the ditto there at the end. Yeah, good stuff. Well fought from these players. Alright.